just want to go to a, an issue that's been raised with me with a Medico legal report writer, Dr. Christopher Rickard Bell, who told the ABC National in June 2015 that he's written over 2,000 reports in his 25 year career, which is to the court for, to assist the court. He said he's often called by the court to assess allegations of physical and sexual abuse. <coughs> but he then went on to say he's not specifically trained in child sexual abuse and or assessments. And as I understand it, evidence rules require specialised knowledge by training, skill or experience. His internet prof public profiles for clinical work don't reflect specialisation in child sexual abuse assessments. Contrary to accepted research, this particular gentleman uh, believes 90% of family court child sexual abuse cases are unfounded. This confirmation bias is reflected in his practice of asking a child in front of the alleged perpetrator about any worries or fears concerning that parent. I think that's balmy. This is cruel and contrary to accepted clinical practice. Dr. Rickard Bell nominated Richard Gardner as a role model and very relevant. The family court publicly decried the, the parent alienation theory that Gardner invented when he was relabeled when he relabeled child sexual abuse symptoms as signs of a mother alienating a father from the child for no good reason. Gardner said, and I quote, the child has to be helped to appreciate that we have in our society an exaggeratedly punitive and moralistic attitude about adult child sexual encounters. And older children may be helped to appreciate that sexual encounters between an adult and a child are not universally considered to be reprehensible acts. The child must be told about other societies in which such behaviour was and is considered normal. My God, this reminds me of Justice Gary Neal. The child must, might be helped to appreciate the wisdom of Shakespearean's Hamlet who said, nothing's either good or bad, but nothing but thinking makes it. My questions, if the family court is going to rely on Dr. Rickard Bell's opinion to assess child sexual abuse, and his opinions are not based on specialised knowledge, and are clearly out of step with research, how can this be in the child's best interest? Yeah. Senator, I'm not um, familiar with the article to which you've referred. You, you can take but, it on but, notice if you like. I mean, I, I think this is, this is just the tip of a very big iceberg I'm about to climb. Well, Senator,